Hello everybody, welcome to the last video of my Google component series. Today I'd like to show you some of the multifamily houses that I have edited from the Google library. So, because there's lots to see today, I will get started and I will work go as briskly as possible. So the first one we're visiting today is um, from the Google um, library or as now SketchUp because Trimble owns the warehouse, whatever, whatever. Um, this was the apartment complex. Now as you can see this house, lo this building looks really not much like this building. Reason being is what it, you see this this segment here, you see how these two segments are divided by this wall here. I took this segment here and just put it and just pasted it back to back with this. So it's actually the same. And as you can see, look, you see this apartment here? It's actually the same area as this apartment here. See? With the except, you see the balcony is a little, um, you see even the balconies are pretty much the same. I mean, you see it here. Right at the halfway point is where this crease goes. Alright, so um, these are my this is my three bedroom apartment unit, which you can download from my from my Google page. But what you see here, um, and also not only did I take this side and paste it back here. Also, um, what got me to believing in that these were three bedroom apartments was the size, yes, definitely, the size, because it was kind of a big space for even just the two bedroom apartments, so, and I tried it, I had to try, um, um, at least, it's not on my first try, did I get a floor plan good enough, so, and most efficient, so I worked at it. Especially because I knew that there was one window here and um, two windows back here, which, pro which to me probably indicates that this is going to be a two, three bedroom apartment, meaning that this is a bedroom here and these are these are back to back bedrooms here, and that's exactly what I did. Only what I did was I moved these windows up front, which you see here and here, and I see this window here. It actually goes for, it becomes a bedroom in the back, which, of course, because it's back to back with the other apartment, you can see the windows on the side. And the window here, I, I kept. And, obviously, the stairway, which is the stairway, so you can see my logic, what I used. So notice how the eave was ungodly high. Why so high? So I made it back to a regular... And there goes my glitching again. Moment, please. Well, I mean, there's a lot in here, so... Bear in mind, there will be a little bit of pausing here and there. And, I mean, I'm sorry about that. So, let's have a look at the outside. I called it Colonial Village Apartments. Why? Because it gives it, it has sort of a colonial look to it. And so what... Um, what it's called is Colonial Village Apartments in my um, library on my page. Gave it a, that colonial look. Window treatments, etc. Octagon. And like, apart, like most apartments here, I mean, um, metal stairs going upward. We've got the metal finishes. All right, we're ready to go inside now, so there's nothing really architecturally to see from going inside, except for, I mean, you're in an apartment, well, with obviously a long hallway. But, I mean, we'll... sorry about that. Let us see where the roof is. Good. 
Alright, so what you see are four apartments up here, so this building has eight apartments. All of them are exactly the same. Well, of course, how it should be in an apartment building. Alright, so we go in here. Here's a storage locker. I had nowhere else to put it, so I put it there. So in here, um, if you want to, you can make it a little bigger. I don't know, I'm, I'm good. So when you walk in here, here's where obviously you wipe your feet. Here's your closet. Oh, and this is linoleum, by the way, not tile. Tile would make the apartment too expensive. Uh, here, this is actually your dining room right here where you put your dining table go in here, this is obviously a kitchen this is a pull out drawer pantry so this whole thing, there would be a handle here and you'd pull it out this way and it would be shelves so yeah, you can fit a lot of stuff in there which is good standard cabinet on top dishwasher and sink Here's your living room. See, here's like where you put your couch here, chairs here, entertainment center here. Or, I mean, if you wanted to, you can put a sectional here, chair here, and an entertainment center here. Sort of your choice on that one. And this is obviously where you can put your lounge, your deck chairs or something. Maybe some plants, water heater, and the space in here. This is where the this is where the vent for the water heater actually goes up through the roof. It's a double, so then one the pipe for this one can go up here, and then the pipe for the one down below goes through here. Here, um, laundry laundry right in the apartment washer dryer and what you see is um, right where the dryer is um, this area here that's for the conduits for the um, dryer because so for ventilation to get up through the roof that way and obviously the house is only bathroom I don't see where I could have put the, another bathroom but I guess that's good for I guess that's good enough this is a good hall closet. Maybe put your vacuum cleaner in there. And but don't worry, your kit, your kitchen, your bathroom already has a linen closet. Here, master bedroom, walk-in closet. His and her dual um, racks. And you can put some other things in there. You can also put your vacuum cleaner in here. Um, so yeah, nice. And then a firewall here for um, other apartments and also good soundproofing secondary bedrooms so yeah that's actually this apartment building let's see as you can see exactly the same so, I mean, it really wasn't that, it wasn't the most interesting apartment building, but I think it really turned out nicely. Had some, um, oh yeah, and I forgot, you right by the kitchen, this is the, this is sort of the here thing. Yep. That's got cent sort of, sort of central, I mean, because that actually goes up through the ceiling, and then through a duct that goes into the rooms. Yeah, as you can see. However, you can't see in this model, but there'd be a duct that comes up through here and go in branches into the rooms. So that's this one. I'm erasing it because there's too much here for the computer to 
See, it's pausing right now. You can see my little circle going around and around. Here is one of Google's mixed-use aloft buildings. Well, it called it aloft, but these aren't actually lofts. Um, and uh, we'll go inside, as you can see here. Um, it's basically just a pretty generic building. And it's in the collection's generic buildings, so yeah. So as you can see, um, pretty generic. But this is how I this is how I decorated it. First, notice how it, when it said mixed when when things say mixed use, it always means retail on the bottom and residential above. So what I actually did was I turned the bottom into a laundromat and a bookstore. As you can see, they're still they're actually pretty generic because there, you can see that there are no signs in the windows. Well, I mean, if I were to download pictures, um, like, I could do that, but it would make this computer awfully slow, and it would boost up the site, boost up the file size a lot. Sorry, I'm sorry, I just can't talk sometimes. So, yeah, but, um, as you can see, I gave it dramatic details, like, what you'd see, like, in vintage on vintage streets started giving it that vintage look and I'd give it generic win generic double on windows to kind of balance it out as you can see it looks modern on the back here and I put added back doors which this one didn't and obviously your instruments on the roof I mean um, Oh, and if you're wondering about these, these aren't in, these aren't randomly placed where these vents are, where like where kitchens and bathrooms are and such, that sort of thing. And this skylight is actually looks down into a stairwell, and this is the elevator. This is a hatch to go down into the building. So nothing, uh, nothing I put on top of the roof is actually random, and you'll see. So let's take the roof off. Ah, come on. Okay, let's see. Take the roof off. Take that off for a second. We'll, we'll go back up there. Because these two, the th second and third floors are exactly the same, I'm not going to bother. These are all studios, as you can see. Kitchen, with that special pull-out pantry that I showed you in that last one. Because, I mean, obviously there's a button. Because here, you can put a little table here. Here, put a day bed. No, I mean, put your day bed here. Your TV here. Stuff you can do with it. And I mean, bathroom, closets. Notice how it kind of has that interlocking feel to it. Here is your coat closet and also vacuum cleaner closet. Whatever you want to put in there. And this is where you put your hang your clothing. And I mean, this one here, this too is a studio. There are three different studio floor plans. Each times four around the building, so. As you can see here, when you walk in at first, you don't see the kitchen, which I kind of like the corner units, personally. As you can see, and plus the coat closet is right next to the door. Clothing closet, bathroom and linen closet. This is one is actually my favorite one, just because I like it. Walk-in closet. That's what I. That's what I like. Walk-in closet. Put. You can actually put stuff in here. Coat closet. Linen closet. This is the linen closet. 
Oh yeah, and this has actually sim the same amount of um, rack space as this closet here. This is just you're gonna put a lot more stuff in here. Though. Then there's the bathroom. Also, let's look around the building. Boiler, boiler. Here, these are vents for the stores below. Because there's a big shaft that comes up through here. Also, this this um, heater thing goes up through a shaft up in here. So it's also same here. Storage closet, probably for maintenance. Elevator shaft, didn't do much with that. Except for the, the metal holds the doors together. And the runners that the doors are on. Here are the stairs going up and down. As you can see, I used um, I created the metal stairs you would see in most in most buildings. So you can see um, cement block construction. And as you can see, it's just winding downward. So that's this. So that's um, this floor and the second floor. So now we're up on the fourth floor, which the apartments are bigger. So there are six apartments on the second and third floor, making twelve apartments total, and plus four apartments up here, which will give you sixteen apartments. So there'll be four one bedroom all units up here. Little bathrooms. Dual closets. Because you can see in here. This is one apartment right here. Almost similar exact same kitchen as the um Studios, but um, yeah, pretty much. Give it a second, it's not responding. This is done. Okay. You just got your closets, coat closet, linen closet, dual closets. And there are only two floor plans of um, two um, one bedroom floor plans, so or four. So this is repeated here. So this is um, this is the other one. However, the kitchen this kitchen is different. But it's actually still got about the same amount of cabinet space. So, um, it's not really... It's different, but um, it doesn't have an advantage over the others. And dining, living, coat, leaning, dual, bedroom, bathroom. And as you can see, this is a this is the back, but yet it's just a repeat, and this is another repeat, only minus the windows on the sides, because this is actually meant to be um, an alley or up against another building. So I didn't do it. So I decided not to put wind. I decided to go with this and not put any windows there. Let's look at the stores now. Let's see, second floor, third floor, okay, perfect. So basically here's the bottom. Laundromat. And we got all this. Washers where you pay. And I actually made all of this here. Everything you see here is what I is what I made. Dryers. 
drives. As you can see, conduits that take it up, take it out through here. Got its own boilers. And like the other store, it's got its own bathroom area. This is your waiting area. I would have put benches in, but um, I got too lazy. This is where benches would go, and this is where a TV would go. Flat screen. Vending machines. Stack machine. In the middle, this is where you enter your apartment. Here are your mailboxes. As you can see, 16 mailboxes, because there are 16 apartments. And you'd come in through here. This is... And so this is this is key card only kind of thing, apartment key only entry. And you come in here. This is probably this is like storage or something for like maintenance. Then you just go up those stairs and here you try the go in the elevator. Obviously, your building's got to have a stairwell, or um, because um, in case of a fire. They can't use the elevator. And over here, this is this is the bookstore. I'm my best to put as many books here. Now there would be actually like um, living. There would be like those um, soft chairs with coffee tables and stuff. But again, that would boot. That would bring up the file size. So I decided to leave it as it is. Now might do that in the future. So yeah, that's this building. This one is a simple building. Very simple. And I actually flipped it because I limited the door on this side. I don't know why. Now this one was called the brownstone, so I decided to make it literally brownstone. As you can see, I even have the stone textures for even around the windows. And yet I still kept up with sort of a federal looking theme. Vintage molding. Again, what I put on top of the building. Again, it's not random. It's all it's all having place. I mean, bathroom, kitchen, furnace, hatch. Here's this is how I do fire escapes. Pretty generic. Sorry, computer's pausing right now. There it goes. Ladder to get on the roof. As you can see, made it realistic. The banding. Mm. And ladder. Basement. Take the roof off. I can find the roof layer. And every apartment, each apartment has the same floor plan, so I'm not going to go through all. I'm not going to go through the floors. And in this building, there are five apartments, including because there's a basement apartment as well. Oh my goodness, come on computer. Alright, so you come in through here. Oh yeah, just to approve that it's all finished. And everything. And beautiful wainscoting throughout. And this goes up to the hatch. This was for the furnace down in the basement. 
Oh, and by the way, the furnace is right about in here, down in the basement, so it doesn't actually take away from the actual apartment. Yeah, so this is like one of those old apartments, like what you would find in, like, Brooklyn and stuff. However, I actually designed the layout myself, but I, I used, um, I do have prior knowledge of different apartments in Brooklyn, New York. So, yeah. Walk in here. And besides, it goes with the building because I actually didn't change the outer walls. Come in here, there's bookshelf, pantry, kitchen, dining, obviously your living room, two bedrooms in the back, bathroom with water heater, linen, coat, Big storage closet. However, if you want to remodel, this is the perfect this is the perfect laundry room. And also to think that this is this is right in the just this little area here is where your plumbing is. So that's good. Both exactly the same size bedrooms, same closets. So yeah. Very proud of that one. This one I already showed you in another video a while back ago, but um, I just want to show you where it actually came from. It came from this model here. Yeah, radical. But it really just shows you what you can do with with Google components. As you can see, I made my own changes here. I think I already showed you this fire escape. Yeah. This one I got I got creative with. This was actually to be a fire station. He said it's called Urban Fire Station in um, the library. But um. I actually changed it and made it into a duplex. See? And I turned the big doors into just the giant windows in front of the porch. It's funny how it's exactly the same. Exactly the same size. See? Over what you can see I did to the sides of it. I even gave it a sort of a cornice. Oh yeah, and we'll explore these in a minute. We'll explore this in a minute. Getting inside, you go in. I'm actually very proud of how the kitchen turned out. It's a walk-in pantry, which is nice. Nice wide staircase that goes up. So yeah, both units are the same. There's a thick wall that goes in between, a firewall that goes in between them. This is where your basement would be. Because obviously there are basement windows in this. Laundry room. 
powder room. Yeah, I'm very proud of this kitchen. I think it's actually one of the best kitchens I've done. I like how the stairway just kind of hugs the wall there. And there's another stairway that goes up. Basically in here are your spindles. Secondary bedrooms, their bathroom, linen. Master bedroom, closet, another linen closet. Oh yeah, one thing to note about designing, it's always good to have like two linen closets, one for like towels and stuff and, and shampoos. I guess you could keep them in here, but it went for like shower, um, towels and stuff, other bathroom essentials, and here's where you can put your blankets, your pillows, etc. Alright, so then you go in here to the bathroom. Moment, please. Computer's not agreeing with me tonight. Okay. Let's see. See? That little thing going around and around and around and around. That's what happens when you got a lot. Alright, so now you come up here. This is basically your rumpus room. You can put a bar here. You can pretty much have parties up here. I mean, you can put like a flat screen here and turn it into a theater. Put a pool table here. A lot you can do with this space. Or, you know, you can actually um, wall it in and make it another bedroom. Right here, this is a bedroom. This is the fourth bedroom. It's walk-in closet here. It's bathroom here, which cannot be accessed from out here. And it still gets that, it still gets a dormer window. Oh yeah, and it's a it's a standard eight foot ceiling. So that bedroom's looking out over here through the street. These skylights provide lighting for this room up here. They're just blackened in right now, but I mean, but, oh well, oh well, who cares? It's just a model. Partially um, diagonalized ceilings. So that's that one. And the last one, I think my favorite one. This is, this is where you can really use your creativity skills. This here is the fact a factory model. It's called Industrial Factory. Type it into Google. This is what it gives to the warehouse, and this is what it gives you. It gives you this factory. Look what I did with it. I turn. I divided it into condominiums. And let's take it over here. See, it fits perfectly over the over. And this one's actually worth walking to. Oh yeah, there are um, I think. Let me check. Yeah, okay, there are 12 um, standard two-bedroom units, and there are um, apartment units, and there are two townhouse units that are three bedrooms, two-story. 
which are obviously on the side, which used to be the boiler, as you can see here, the burner, took all that out, and where most of the assembly line stuff was, or whatever it was, the factory, um, or just regular condo units, and we'll go inside because I think this is worth it. As you can see, the, in or the industrial warehouse style windows are in. Here I made it look like I bricked in things. Looks like this is all bricked in. Bricked in door. Bricked in vents. Something there. And like any other apartment building I've done, the first floor is apartments are the same as the second floor apartments. So you can see inside. These are all the original these are it shows original fact concrete posts for the factory. You see how all these are all blocked all the blocked in. Now these concrete blocks here they weren't original. These were the structure was my computer does not agree with me right now don't know why see don't know why so what you see is actually the hallway is like a little s coming through here but all of this used to be open space doors that come computer come on Bear with it. It's just dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Dumb as a rock. Okay. So no. What it looks like is I it what it looks like is I bricked in um basically looks like garage doors. Bricked in more windows, vents, whatever. Warehouse style windows. We'll actually go up the stairs. And it will show you all up here, all the original structure of the factory. Warehouse windows. Which I find is pretty cool. As you can see, steel going to one of these units here. Alright, so we're kind of, it's a little crammed, but we're kind of standing in a unit here. This is where you would put bar stools. This is what the kitchen looks like. You put your bar stools here, and I mean it's optional. You can put a small table here. However, um, this was actually meant to be meant not to really have a table, but this would be where you would. This is the ultimate dining. I mean it's big enough here for four for four bar stools, so you can have four chairs here, and obviously here's your living room your sofa your sofa here chair here entertainment here if you had like a cabinet you could put it here it's very industrial looking duct oh yeah and about that duct it goes through all the rooms Here's your pantry. As you can see the brick from the outside. The structure. Here's one of the bedrooms. The duct ends here. As you can see it goes through the wall. It's the bedroom and its closet. 
bathroom, laundry room, coat closet, master bedroom, you can see this is where the duct comes through. Here's the unit. Oh yeah, and that's the door to access the unit. Plus you can put a bunch of you can put a lot of storage up in here. All my all the apartments have it. Well all twelve of the standard units. Walk-in closet, bathroom, linen closet. the roof ladder. Because as you can see. Oh yeah, and above here. This is more storage space here, so give me a minute, I'm working on it. There we are. So you can actually see how I did the bathrooms and stuff. This is basically from what's hidden within. Not a bit, not bad tile work if I do say so myself. This also accommodates for the, for the structural component. See how I see how you have to kind of work around structural components, especially in factories. This is the laundry room, stacked washer dryer. Water here, you can put your vacuum cleaner here. And there's your closet there. So essentially this is this is the unit and it's just flipped throughout this throughout the place. And it shows you the duct work. It goes up through it. So, I mean, it does go through all the rooms, so that's good. I just like the look of it. I was very proud of it when I made it, but that's when I made it. Um, it was a little while back ago, but not much. I think I could probably do a lot better now than I did before. As you can see, you can look the metal on the outside of the factory. Air and skylights. Let's go in one of these units here. Sorry. So we walk into a living room. Oh yeah, and it's got metal ceilings as well. Oh yeah, and we're walking what used to be the boiler, you know, like the furnace. So this is the um, coat closet. Little dining room here. Shared with a kitchen. Nice kitchen, by the way. Pantry. We get metal ceilings, and because the kitchen's inward, the skylight gives it a lot of good light. Darn it. Laundry room, that place, the master bedroom. I think the water heater is in there. Go up the stairs. You can look out onto this to this roof here. Careful of the stairs though. Bedrooms and a bathroom. So essentially that's what it is. Uh, let's see, is 
second floor. Roof. This is what we went through. And as you can see, kind of a sort of a modern wood floor with kind with a kind of a gray wall color, gray stained wood. Oh, in case you're wondering about these bedrooms here, they're lighted by the skylights. Computer's acting up on me again. Said I have so many layers I'm messing with right now, it's kind of hard to keep track of. It. All right. As you can see, there's a was right. Was the water here? Kitchen with dining here, living room here, bedroom back here, the whole nine yards, dual sinks, linens. More linens, sort of a walk-in closet, not quite, but sort of functional laundry room, water closet. So that's this one. But again, I think I'm most proud. I'm really proud of this one in particular, just because I think I think it has that industrial feeling to it. And I kept it all within parameters, so I'm happy with that. Very. However, I think because it's been a little while ago since I've made it, I think I can I think there are improved if I were to make it today it would look have improved looks and just might have something some things better. I don't know. But hey, I encourage you. you download things from the libraries and play with them. And uh, I'd like to see it. I really would. I, I always find it's a lot of fun to download what other people have made. So it helps me look at what I how I can be better, how I can improve. If you know what I mean, right? All right, well, everybody, thank you all very much for watching. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it because there will be more videos. Not in this little series, but more videos from me, obviously. And there will be more um, SketchUp videos, things that I've done, and tutorials here and there, nitty-gritty, blah, 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 here and there. So, yeah. So, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.